New tonight, our cameras recording as some of the Bay Area's most vulnerable residents turned away from many cold weather shelters already full, and they're now boarding buses hoping to find a warm bed somewhere in the Bay Area. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith live downtown with people helping the homeless stay warm. Ryan. Well, as these temperatures drop overnight, guys, the demand for safe shelter grows. Tampa Salvation Army shelter right here behind us at capacity tonight. And we've learned staff are still inside working at this very hour to find warm places for those in need. It's definitely cold. It's it's much colder than it is normally. Tampa flirting with near freezing temps overnight, creating dangerous conditions for local homeless. We want to be able to give them something that can help comfort them in this time that's not exactly ideal. Heidi McMahon and Corey Spray handing out blankets to those bracing the cold at Gaslight Park. If I'm cold and have a place to go home that I felt like people out in the streets wouldn't have that, so just want to give them something a little bit more to keep warm tonight. Down the street, Tampa's Salvation Army at capacity this week, even opening 20 emergency spots. This is why the Salvation Army exists. We, we are there for people when they're in need, even if that means that they're in need because they're cold, because they're not safe on the street. The shelter had to turn more than a dozen people away, but we found out they are going to area churches and community centers. You know, trying to figure out a place to stay, trying to figure out how I'm going to make ends meet. Christopher Leach at the shelter tonight, thankful he's out of the cold. I came here right away and they took me in, you know, and it's probably the greatest decision I've made. And we want to let you know tonight, if you're still in need, there are still plenty of places around Tampa and Hillsborough County to go and seek safe shelter tonight. We have a list of those online at abcactionnews.com. Reporting live downtown, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.